listened to the solo version of Five More Minutes, but today we are guest booking with Gummy, who knows nothing about wrestling. So this uh, WWF Raw War after, uh, well, this is the third week. Uh, so um, yeah. we haven't. I haven't actually posted uh, from last week. I think I posted yeah. in your house last. No, I, I don't remember what I posted. I posted something uh, earlier this week, but this yep. will be posted probably in a couple weeks from when we're actually recording it. But Gummy's gonna book. I'm Bookworm. He's Gummy. Hi. Hi. And, uh, so Gummy, uh, have you watched any of the videos that I've done for this? I you watched one. Okay, do you understand how, what you need to do? You need to make sensations. <laughs> that, essentially, yeah. So we're actually, because you watched, uh, the Seaverse episodes where I was using, like, the Fairy Verse. This is actually a real-life mod from 1997. We're playing oh. the WWF. Uh, no longer WWF, so now WWE, and your Pokemon is making noise. <laughs> if only that was my Pokemon. That was actually my Jazz Jazz. Uh, I was uh, recording something myself about five minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. So but that's all right. I'm going to set up what needs to happen. You're going to pick the people that are going to be on it. Nope. Yeah. Or, mm -mm. or are you just going to watch me? I'll, I'll pick. No worries, because I don't know where they need to go. I put, like... Rey Mysterio in Takarita or something. I, I don't even have a Rey Mysterio yet. He's uh, bored to death of this thing yet, so. Seriously. So, uh, right now, we just finished In Your House. We're going to start building to Royal Rumble, uh, which is the pay per view for January. So, we have about a month of build for that. Sweet. Um, we're going to open the show with an interview. Um, so, your interview segments, you want your main guys. So, I'll refer to the team main guys here with a right click of MD. Both of them are Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, well, they, they just go to the alphabetical order. Ah. So first person. But first, because you don't know, um, faces are good guys, heels are bad guys. You mm. want you want faces and heels to go against each other. Um, yeah. Because it's good for contrast. Mm -hmm. um, logic. Um, Shawn Michaels is our current world champion. Mm. I know that name. Yes. Um, he's been really popular like the last five, ten years. Yeah. Uh, he retired recently, but... We learned a few episodes ago we really don't want him to have interview segments uh, because he's kind of on the edge of retirement and can't Whoa. take segments. Uh, so we're going to have him actually be the subject of the interview. And then I'll give you the options. Uh, these are, uh, he has five options here of guys that can Owen be Owen Hart. Owen Hart. Owen Hart. Good choice. Yeah. Gotta uh, be Owen Hart. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's the art of the funny nose, right? Yeah. You did watch wrestling when you were younger, didn't you? Yeah, he was in um, Wedding Crashers. No, that's Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. That's an actor. Totally different. Though they actually kind of have the same haircut and the same nose. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Whoa, that's not him, is it? No, no. These. This is a Doug, Doug Bird Bird and Phil Lafon. They're the Can Am connection. Dang. Um, that is a. We're gonna set. Got some things need to work out. And we're, <laughs> we're gonna set up a tag match. Uh, I'm gonna go for faces first. You have mm -hmm. a selection of five teams you can use. Mm -hmm, I'll mm -hmm. scroll through them here for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just mm. tell me when you when you're ready. Oh, are those twins? They are twins. Skull and eight ball. Let's go. Okay. Twins it is. So that's a DOA. They like the biker gang, but mm -hmm. they're good guys. Uh, not not using this team because they need it for other stuff. Oh. Um, <laughs> so uh, these guys are the tag champions. Um, mm -hmm. So if you want to have a chance, you take matches with them. Samoan. Oh, that is mainly Samoan. Yeah. Yes, that is their team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tag tag team name Just Order. And then uh, we got the Dudleys. Okay, let's go with either Samoans or the uh, Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. All right, this is a their debut tonight here on Raw against uh, Skull and Eight Ball. Mm. Uh, these are guys that are going to be at some point future prospects, but right now they're still pretty young, so we might just uh, take them. Sweet. Everyone's like, who is who? I don't know. We just watch the game and find out. So I do have to actually set this up a certain way because I do have a storyline going on. Mm. So, uh, but thank you for the selection. So. No problem at all. I picked twins to go against twins. Everyone knows double twins equals quad. So we're gonna do outside interference. They're aligned with Raven, who is actually new in this ring. Um, Wait, you have your own character? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm kind of starting my own little organization within the company, and uh, so they're gonna be um, Raven's gonna attack Eight Ball and uh, allow Edge and Christian to get the win here. And they're not too happy about it, but we'll fix that later with money. Money will always buy happiness. In it's what the game it always. If the game teaches us anything, it's that money will buy happiness. So Owen hyped a match against uh, Sean earlier, so what we're going to do is have a beatdown backstage. I'm teaching you wrestling magic now. <laughs> Not that you care. I but. do care. We need a beatdown backstage because length, but he's 
willing to have one for... So because Owen did an interview against Sean talking mm -hmm. about how he wanted to beat him to the dead, basically, is what you're, you're saying. Uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, who are aligned together in DX, are going to beat him up backstage to show him that you can't beat Bret. You disrespect me. Yeah. E exactly. Keep in mind that DX is the bad guys, so that's why they beat up Owen. Because they don't want to yeah. get bad guys up. But Owen didn't do that, because he's a nice guy. He's a good guy. So now we're going to do a mid-card match. Um, get some young guys on the... On the, on the show. Uh, we'll just go ahead and tell them when, when to stop and take a break. Shane. Shane. Uh, he actually is aligned with uh, the DOA from the last, uh, from that last match where. That's right. Whoa. Did so not him. D-Lo Brown. You know he's got some weird stuff about his face. Just need some therapy, Owen. Yeah, that's probably the image ties having to be redone. Yeah. Uh, Sabo. Yeah, Sabio. He looks good. This actually works. Uh, this is Los Baracos. There was kind of a, a feud going on between the two uh, factions, so this actually works pretty well. I like it. You're, you're picking good for knowing nothing about wrestling. I'm just going by appearances and letters. Okay, we're gonna Team have versus ass. <laughs> we're gonna Match have rank. we're gonna have chains uh, win because his uh, tag team uh, part uh, friends lost in the last match. So we'll do that. It's a better memory. Uh, we do have another angle that we're building right now too, as well. So. We're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Rocky Maivia. Well, actually, he's the he's the Rock now. The Rock is gonna get an interview against Kurt Angle. Isn't the Rock um Dwayne Johnson? Yeah, yeah. This is him back in '97. I'll show you. So he was Rocky Maivia before he was the Rock. We get Rocky Maivia. Well, they named him Rocky Maivia because his dad's name was Rocky Johnson. His grandpa was Peter Maivia. So they combined the two names, and then he went to be this the Rock. The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. And then they ended up filling in. I'll have to show you the rock. Rock, rock. This is ninety seven rock. Before the Samoan tattoos and the bald head and the steroids. You say about ninety seven rock, because I actually searched him for like ninety eight seven rock. But it doesn't sound as bad. Is it isn't that ninety eight seven rock? Uh yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of um ninety seven rock. Oh yeah. Which isn't rock, but which is more like what you would say. Yeah. I don't know. I look used to him in a way that's hurt me. Um, uh, by the way. Ninety four seven rock, actually. Oh, okay. This is me right here. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I want to point one thing out. You're blonde. Dirty blonde. I'm a Jewish guy. Ah. Jewish uh, docket pole Rigged. eater. Yeah. Fucking dumb as it goes. I can't believe that you're a bird of prey. Right. I, these guys are all aligned with the DOA, by the way. This all is, barely work. He, this is all one faction. Right. So this is my raven's nest. He's kind of small, isn't he? No. No? No. Well, there's six people on your team. How many are there in the in the, in the the league? Uh, we have quite a few, but we have plenty of uh, guys on our side that I could probably uh, align with the best of us at here in this match. So let's end in on that one. Because in the next match... We will be doing a tag team, but uh, we can go ahead and do the <laughs> because we don't have any reason for other people to see us in this match. I'll put him in that. Yes, the Undertaker will be in a match, and he's going to be tagged with Mankind, mm -hmm. as they tend to do. The Nick Foley, Mankind. Nick Foley. Yeah, that's how he'll be known. How do I know that guy? I do know that guy. And the Undertaker. I didn't like him. He scared me. Well, you were a little kid. Yes, I was. And there were sweaty, angry men on television. Yeah. As they tend to do. <laughs> they very, very little spot on him. See, I'm, I'm quite a bit, quite a bit young. So, uh, when when wrestling was really popular, uh, I was about every age. It's still pretty popular. Wrestling hasn't dropped out. It's just that there's way more things on television. So it's kind of hard for people to remember that we have a huge fan base, but they're there. It's crazy, man. Anyway, uh, when I was really young, uh, about what, four years old, the girl in the living room accused me to walk in her room at like WrestleMania or WWE. Every now and then SmackDown would come on. I'm not really sure about what that's all is, but uh, I do remember seeing people throw other men off of the high rise sort of corner 
post thing, and it was so scary. It's scary at me, so. It's scary to the scariest person. Because, yeah, it, it really did, it, it threw me off. Uh, so, oh, I need to do one more thing. I need to do a, we got to do a lighthearted Pride of Magic Team pre-show. Okay. Yeah. Um, just get these guys that wouldn't normally be on the show to come through. Yeah. If I can find who I can invite them to. So, yeah, I didn't play this for a few weeks, and I forgot what I did. Oh. It's okay. That's why there's things that I can look up. Taco, that's what I was looking for. Taco? Taco Michinoku. Taco Michinoku. He <laughs> is a face. Taco Michinoku. We'll have him go against the Gila. Is he back in Michinoku? You should totally record that. He lives in Japan. He still wrestles. You should, like, record that and send it to the world. Hey, how are you? Yeah. I made a new theme song for you. So now we're running the show. This is where we find out if we booked well or not. Um, that was destined to happen as a pre-show. It's not a big deal. No, it's all about that. I can't tell. Is it Rating is well? 35. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Well, isn't that a 50 now? No. Mm. So the opening, uh, the opening angle with Owen Hart did pretty well. Uh, decent right now. Our angles have actually not been doing very well compared to our matches, which is weird, but it happens. Well, like, people like the side shows instead of the main ones. Yeah, uh, you didn't do too well in your tag team match there, dude. Mm. We only got 34. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Dude, the twins are awesome. What's wrong with these people? But the next angle did well to beat down Dexter. Yeah. Own heart. Not Wilson. This did better. This was the other match he picked. What was that, Vega? S- Sakia yeah, Vega and Jake. That was a better match. Uh, the Rock did okay. <laughs> I think he just gets a bonus by being The Rock. Yeah. So what's your name? The. Oh, 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 what? So not our best show, but not our worst show. We've been, this bout war, I've been all month for this, so. All right, and next time on Five Minutes, I will probably be solo again, because I'll record it later in the week when Benny's not around. Uh, I have but work all summer anyways. School. Yes. <laughs> I have work. I get to study to learn to work. Um, but Gummy will be back to guestbook at some point. Maybe I can get him to do a multiplayer game with me. Uh, but that would, I mean, it, it's going to be slower that way, but we might be able to set that up where he'll run his own company and I'll run mine. Mm. But, uh, yeah. So next time I'll see you then. And we will be going into week four of December and pushing into the Royal Rumble and, uh, seeing what 